Hello, it's the Imperfect Gardener here, and I want to do an update on these peas that I just threw in back here at the fence to see how they would do back here uh, without having to build a support or anything. I just put them up next to this chain link fence, and honestly, I have like ignored them for two weeks. I think I came through once and kind of weeded a little bit, and now look, there's tons of weeds growing up. We've had tons of rain, but these peas are coming up anyway, and they've grown themselves up onto this fence. The ones that haven't hooked right onto the fence are kind of hooking to each other and helping each other stand up. I don't see any laying on the ground right now. And they're growing. And I do believe I see the beginnings of a flower right there on that one. Do you see that? That is a flower coming right there. Flower. So we are going to get some little peas back here. Uh, snow peas, I think these ones are. And I can come back here and weed this if I get time, but right now they're growing. And what I've seen in the past is that my peas tend to grow. I used to put them out here in years in the past. I put them out here in the middle of the garden on a, you know, with some wire for them to grow up or some rope or whatever. But right now, uh, when I do that in the past, what I've seen is they'll grow some peas and stuff. But when it gets real hot, they all start dying because it's just too hot for them. So I threw them back here. And we will see what happens. And look what's happening. To me, it looks like a success so far. Uh, they're mixed in with some weeds, which I could do better on that. But hey, that's life. Now down here, there's some more. This variety, I did two varieties. This variety has done great. Growing up like crazy. I had another variety. Excuse me while I hop over these rows. That I put back here. They're not doing quite as well. They're still pretty low to the ground. They haven't gotten tall yet. But I'm just thinking, well, that's just the kind of variety they are. Some pretty purple flowers. I don't really want those there, but they're a weed, but they look pretty. Um, see, this one, it hasn't attached to anything. So let me see how tall it really is. Well, it's attached to some weeds. So I'm going to pull this up a little. See if I can see how tall it is, actually. No, it's only about, excuse me, bugs. It's only about, oh, it's about 18 inches tall. So... You know, I want it to go back there towards the fence, which it hasn't done yet. But, hey, if it wants to grow up the weeds, I'll let it do it for now. Um, there is one that's back there. It's a shorter. This just might be a variety. It doesn't get as tall. Excuse me, shaking. There's bugs biting me now. I need to get some weed, some bug killer. What do you call that stuff? Off to keep them off you. This one has found the fence, okay? And it's growing up, and it's got peas on it. So it's probably just that... I did two different varieties. It looks like one of the varieties is just a little shorter pea than the other kind. Because they're not getting very tall. There's one way over there. Yep. So they are growing. Uh, some of them didn't get as close to the fence as I thought they had. And they didn't get as tall, so they haven't reached the fence. But that's that variety. The other variety did wonderful. What I'm going to have to do now is go back and look at my, <laughs> look at my little packages and see if I can remember which variety I planted in which spot. Yeah. And then, I usually write that all down, but I forgot about doing it well with these peas. In fact, I put little stakes on everything this year, little wooden things telling what I planted there. See these little wooden things? Stakes down here. Yeah, I forgot to do it for these peas. So I don't know which pea is where. But, we'll see. They'll grow. We'll eat them. It'll be fabulous. So that's just an update. They did grow up along the fence pretty much on their own. They're even you know, surviving out here with some weeds that I need to pull out. Of course, now if I start pulling these weeds out, I'll probably rip out some of the pea plants because they're hooked onto the weeds. <laughs> but that's okay because you know what's imperfect gardening. You throw it in, you watch it grow. I'm telling you I'm going to be eating peas. Another week or so I'll be eating some peas here. So that's the pea update. Have fun gardening.